All right, hello, hello. <clears throat> Hi, I'm sorry that I ended up starting so late. I had issues with this game. Can you believe it? Oh, I had issues with this game. Unbelievable, am I right? Anyway, hello, we are here with Wulong. Uh, this game <laughs> has been met with mixed reception, as I'm sure you're not surprised to hear. Um, the um, thankfully, I'm on I'm on an AMD GPU. I've heard a, a lot of people say that this game does not function at all on Nvidia. It's a very rare time where. You know, AMD actually does something. Um. Oh, man. Uh, so we're going to be starting a new game. We're not going to be going from the demo because uh, I accidentally deleted. I shouldn't say deleted. Overwrote the save file I had from when I played the demo while I was trying to test uh, the performance issues I was having. Um, I did find a way to fix the stuttering I was having in the demo. I have heard that the performance here is better than it was in the demo, and now in the settings you can have the FPS go up to 120. Um, I'm getting 60 in the menu, so I highly doubt I'm actually going to be able to get to 120. But where is it? Here. Yeah, you can actually set the maximum FPS to 120 now, and you were only able to do up to 60 in the demo. So that's nice. Uh, I also figured out how to get HDR working, so hopefully you can't see it on the stream. I, I, I tested it, and I'm pretty sure that you can't. Um, ZOBS recently came out with a filter for HDR, so that's nice. Uh, Performance-wise, though, I haven't hit the new game button, so I'm really crossing my fingers that everything's fine, but if it ends up not being fine, I know how to fix it. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to change the... Where is it? Language settings. Here we go. Audio language. I'm changing it from... Oh, God, that's Korean. I'm changing it from Chinese to Japanese because I don't understand Chinese. I'm sorry. I understand Japanese. I don't understand Chinese. So I'm just going to keep it to Japanese because if I had it in English, it would sound weird that this game is uh, is taking place in um, China and they're all speaking English. I'm sorry. Like, at least... I, I, at least, you know, them speaking Japanese in China makes sense. It's kind of fucked up. But, you know, it, it, it... Listen, new game.古代の帝王らが小ぞって求めた先導の秘宝、単薬。真の思考帝も自らを不老不死とするため、その禁断の薬を望んだという。しかし、絶大な力を与える単薬は世に災いもなしたとされ、真が倒れた後も。戦や権力をめぐる暗闘の影には必ず単薬があったと言う時は流れ関王朝が推備した今再び単薬の輝きを帯びた暗雲が世を包み各地の眠れる竜を目覚めさせようとしている
が弟の勢いをご覧のように皇天の世は目前ですぞ天下大吉天下大吉 Okay, why is his outfit so stupid though? Man, these 30 FPS cutscenes are something else. How did that guy die with his hand just like this? Like, I get it. Like, your nerves tense up. But at the same time, like, it's a fire. You know? Uh, Shadow Warrior time. Yeah, nice hair, idiot. I like how he just lets go of his sword as well. He doesn't just let go of the sword, he like pushes it away. But I don't know, I've never stabbed anyone, especially with a sword, so I don't, maybe it takes a lot of effort to pull it out. You would think if it was sharp enough, it wouldn't. Isn't this kind of based on? I mean, I know Nia was as well, but isn't this kind of based on a real s story as well? I can't remember if it was like Genghis Khan or the Chin Emperor or someone, <clears throat> but I know there was someone who in in like China or Mongolia or like one of them um who was an emperor did want to gain immortality and they thought they could do that through um I don't necessarily want to say like medication I mean I guess it's kind of medication What's the word? I don't know. I, I I don't know what I don't know what the correct word is. But they they wanted to to gain immortality through like that through that kind of thing like through like m medication like natural remedies that that's the one. And they in doing so they ended up drinking poison and they died. Um. They, they they ended up poisoning themselves, trying to gain immortality. It wasn't like someone else did it maliciously either. It was just like they did it to themselves, really. So, um, I don't know if that was the Qing Emperor or not. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've heard that. It probably was, though, because, again, like, these, um... The the Neo games <clears throat> are based on the the based on real history, right? So I'm I, it probably is, and you know that's that's the reason why a lot of people don't like Neo's story either is because it's like it, it's this weird thing where it's based on real history, but you have to know the history already to get what's going on. For me, I thought Neo's story was great. A lot of people didn't. Um, because they didn't know what was going on, which is fair, but, you know, this game was also m made in Japan for Japanese people. Well, the Neo games were. This is obviously China, it's different, but still. You know, I, 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 I didn't really, like, I, I get if people didn't like it because they didn't follow, but then some people say, it, like, the story is shit, and they think it's awful, and be because you have to already know the history, and to me, that just doesn't really make any sense because if you think of a game like uh 
What's a good example of a of a game that has that same sort of thing going on, but is more about like <clears throat> any sort of Western history? Assassin's Creed Three. That's a good example. Um, I think that's actually the best example that we can have, like. With Assassin's Creed 3, that game's story relies heavily on you not only knowing about the American Revolution, but also about the history of Native Americans during uh, colonialization. And they don't really explain anything about to you. You have to already have that knowledge. And it's it's the same thing, but you don't see anyone thinking that Assassin's Creed 3 story is shit because of that. Um, I mean, people did say that it, the game was bad when it came out, but nowadays people look on it a lot better than they did before. But it's the same thing. So I, I just don't think that's really an argument. I think that's kind of stupid <laughs> anyway uh, enough ranting um i guess what i'm trying to say is that going into this i have an open mind with the story because i don't understand a lot of asian history but i do understand based on what i did know from playing the neo games that they do a good job with it so i'm i'm like i'm, I'm going to try my best to follow along but um and I might end up looking up stuff as well, like what I did with Neo 2, because I found that actually like researching what was going on while the story was happening in Neo 2 was really, uh, really interesting. So we have uh, type one and type two figures. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we flipped the coin last time and we got type two, so we'll probably just go and stick with that. Let's just try making my, um, we can try making my, uh, uh, Neo 2 character. This is anime as fuck. Uh, like, look, it has the little pink, what the hell? Are these, like, this looks like a dead or alive character. This also looks like a dead or alive character. This also looks like a dead or alive character. Um. Are the templates like. So you can have like non fucked up body or fucked. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's just. That's everywhere. That's like she's been in a fire. I guess that would make sense. <clears throat> um. These don't do anything. All oh, right, this is just the base. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Don't like that angle. Um, is there a difference between these two? Oh, yeah, there is. That's fine. Forehead depth? What do you mean by depth? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. See, this is getting way too. Oh, Jesus. This, I think, is getting way too into it. I'm not, you, you know me, I'm not much of a character creation guy. I'm not into this whole, like, very specific character changing stuff. Angry. Um... Jesus, there's way too much. Can I do... Oh, there it is. I'll go with this. This sounds like a Soul Calibur one. 
I think the voice pitch is fine. Um, yeah, height zero is fine. I wonder if that actually changes the hitboxes of stuff in this game. Um, oh my god, head size. Neck length. Ah! It doesn't seem to really do much, does it? Oh! Ah! I mean, sure. Um, this doesn't really make much sense for it being set in the 800s, right? Oh, it's just one color. Okay. Ah! Okay, I'm good. I, I don't need to change the teeth. Thank you. Can I change the hair color? Okay, that's pretty good. That's funny. <laughs> um, okay. I can change the hair. I mean, I just like this one. This was the default, right? I think I just like that one. Can I... Oh, zoom out. I just like that one. What's this one? Actually, I think I like that one. I like both of them. I'm gonna go with this one. Wait, what? Did I not? Oh, it's a preset. I see. Okay. Oh, so I can change. Ah, I see. Oh my god. There's way too much. <laughs> Um, I mean, I feel like I feel like this is fine. Jesus Christ, okay. Now, nah, this is fine. Nah, the, again, the preset's fine. Oh, I see. So, okay. That makes sense. No, I like the preset. The preset's fine. Um, Let's see. Let's do... Let's go this, and then let's do... I want it to be like, I think like this, but then more, uh, there we go. Yeah, like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I make this like... God, that's way too much. Um... I 
I mean, I like the little, like, the little bits of white. <clears throat> I could do, like, a neon color. <laughs> okay, I kind of like the red. I'm, I'm not... Wait, what would orange be like? Need to do smaller adjustments. Hi, Sin. Nah, I think I think red would be better. I, I I'm not I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the red like this. Maybe a little bit darker, like a little bit more muted. Oh, I can reduce the tip area. Oh. Yeah, have, like, here, let me, let me make this brighter so it's easier to see what's going on. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. What if I flip this around? What if I flip the, the blue and the red colors around? Wait, I can do that. I can make this a custom color. So if I do it like this, and then like this. I think I'm just go- I'm, I think I'm just going to go full anime. And then if I make this like... I, no, I think it has to be the other way around. Do that and then make this... Like that. What if we just change the color? I could have it be the white. The white's pretty cool. Oh, or I could just, yeah, I could just make it a darker red, actually. Or like, or a lighter red, I mean. Or the, wait a second. The pink is kind of good. Wait, that that's kind of that's kind of good. Here I am like, oh yeah, fuck the character creation. I don't want to do anything with it. And now I've spent like 10 minutes on the hair. Mom's not coming home today. She was supposed, but they want her to be able to breathe better. Mm. Well, you know, like, I get, at, at the very least, if there's any positive to come from that, they're actually, you know, the the hospital she's at is taking care of her, right? Because I know my hospital wouldn't do that. They just kick you out and make you wait in in the the lobby for 14 hours. Not exaggerating. They take you in. They do the bare minimum, and then they kick you out. So, you know, there's a positive. She's already super upset she wants to be home. Yeah, I'm sure.
But you know, it won't be it, it, it won't be too much longer at least. Um Can we do like for here? Can we get this same color? Save this color and then put it for this one. You know what I just realized? This is just Kunimitsu's hair. <laughs> That's why I like it. It's Kunimitsu. Ah, oh, god damn it. Whatever. And then just make this lighter. Yeah, look at that. See that? That's. Fuck you. I like. I, I like the hair. Oh, I can adjust the length. It's weird how it's like nothing, 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 nothing. And then it starts like going. See, like like up to here, nothing changes, right? And then all of a sudden after you get to like nine or twelve, now it's all Okay. If you're streaming tomorrow, may not be there, but depending on what time you get on. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming at uh, at four. I abolish the performance, your performance, my performance from the demo, yeah. It's actually, at least in the character creator, it feels better. Oh. Do I just... I kind of just want it to be short. I actually prefer that. Um, okay, what's head tip three? Oh, that's the back. No, I want the back to be all. Oh, I can. Nah, that just looks weird. Okay, now that I have the hair done. Demo, I thought this was out. Yeah, the, well, my performance in the demo was really bad, but I'm not playing the demo. I'm playing the full game now, but obviously I haven't progressed past the character creator. So I don't know yet. I'm just I'm just assuming that's still going to be bad based on what people have said. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Um, do I want to bother with any of this? I don't think I do. I listen. I'm not like, like I said, I'm not really like in the character creation in general, especially this much. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> um. I wonder what Team Ninja gets the budget from. Probably the Neo games, right? And Dead or Alive. Not the fighting game, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe it's seven. What even what what is laugh line? I don't even know what's being changed. I'm just keep fu fuck it. I'm just keep I'm just keeping it. I don't care. I was just thinking Neo. I think Dead or Alive makes them a ton of money. Don't they have a lot of merchandise for Dead or Alive as well? They have to, right? Though Neo is probably the biggest source of income for them. Well, they have they have some JRPGs too, don't they? I don't know. I I don't follow Team Ninja. 
I I only know Dead or Alive and Neo, and that's it. I don't know what else they do. Nah, the default is fine. I, I'm I'm I you know I'm fine with the eyebrows. I'm not going to mess with them. I type. I think I like these ones. Um, yeah, but people don't play Dead or Alive since it's been abandoned for now. That's true. But you know they'll they'll make they'll make another one, right? Surely. They just they just need to not fuck it up. That's it. If if they if they make a Neo and they don't fuck it up. A Neo, if they make a Dead or Alive and they don't fuck it up, it's going to be great. Like, like they already have the free to play model. They already have all of the the like the DLC outfit bullshit. Just like make one that's good, like Dead or Alive Five. There's no competition in the three fighting game market. They just have to do it right. That's it. They just have to do it right. Yes, that DOA has merchandise. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was that uh, we don't know if they know their mistakes. You know, considering like after the game came out, they doubled down and p made you pay to change colors. Yeah, maybe they don't. Say there's no competition in 3D fighting games? No, there's not. Unless Virtual Fighter 6 comes out, but that's probably a long ways away. The only competition Tekken has is Soul Calibur. And that's still Bandai Namco's IP, so you know. Oh, there we go. I was hitting the wrong button to zoom in. Anyway, um, because of everything's going on, starting tomorrow, I have people coming. I need help, uh, uh, to help with what I need and stuff. I recommend all these people have to spend time talking to them and getting to know them. Ew. Are you guys questioning it? They already said at convention or something that next will likely be a reboot of the series. They just don't know when it's going to be. I'm never going like wh why is this an option? I'm never going to see this. Um Have they said announced that there's gonna be a, a Dead or Alive 7? If they have, I haven't heard of it. Can I make this like? I'm never going to see this. <laughs> yeah, let's make it a faint yellow, like the the, the Neo reference, right? <laughs> Small Neo reference in 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 my character. Um. I think this is fine, right? Yeah. Ears, whatever. Face decoration. I don't. I don't like anything on the forehead. I'm sorry, but no. What about two? Oh, this is all. Oh, so do I have to? Oh, I. I can move it. Okay. I don't think I want anything though. I. I. I don't want to make a kabuki. I'm sorry. It's odd as it sounds because Street Fighter is 2D, but Street Fighter is Tekken's rival. I suppose that's true, but I, I I feel like it's it's like Street Fighter is Tekken's rival only in the fact that it's the only fighting game really as big as Tekken besides Mortal Kombat, but Mortal Kombat is a separate thing because it's not made in Japan. But 
the thing is with Tekken and Street Fighter though, there's like no overlap. So Personally, I wouldn't consider it Tekken's rival because of that. Cause like I I I obviously there's a comparison there, and I see the comparison, but at the same time. I I feel like for a game to be a rival of another game, there has to be overlap in the the communities playing the game. And I just I don't think there's a lot of overlap between the two games. So it's it's hard for me to to say definitively that uh that it is. Who's Mortal Kombat rival? They really don't have one. They really don't. Mortal Kombat is a very... Not only is it pretty much the only Western um, uh, fighting game besides indie fighting games, but it also is so different from other fighting games that it really doesn't have anything that you can really compare it to. It's pretty... It's really strange. Is Virtual Fight 6 being talked about? Has it ever been mentioned? Um, like, officially, no, but there have been a lot of hints to a Virtua Fighter 6. Because Sega has come out and said that the whole reason why they did the Virtua Fighter 5 thing is to gauge interest on Virtua Fighter as a series. And not only to gauge interest, but to repopularize it. And it did better than they expected. And Virtua Fighter 5 right now is doing very, very well in Japan. Everywhere else, it's basic, not basically nothing's happening. But in Japan, there's been a lot that's been happening with Virtua Fighter. So, I, I honestly would be surprised if they're not working on Virtua Fighter 6 right now. Mortal Kombat 12 is the worst kept sec se worst kept secret in the world. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Okay, this there's, there's something about like the the character's cheeks that I don't like. That's better. Okay, I think I'm done with the character creator. I've been here long enough. I, I spent most of the time on the hair. <laughs> but yeah, I think Virtual Fighter 6 is going to be a thing. Which I'm excited for. It's going to be great for 3D fighting games. Tekken having, co Tekken having competition. I... I guess it could go two ways, right? Because on one hand, Tekken has done a lot with innovating and making a good game without competition and i i feel like th there's a world where tekken is able to do that because it doesn't have competition you know th there's no reason to really change the game dramatically to try to appeal to a wider audience because everyone who plays 3d fighting games plays tekken because that's the only game that's there. Like, they don't have to strivify the game at all to appeal to more people because they have the entire market. There's no reason. Like, it wouldn't do anything if they did. So they have the freedom to just make the game harder and crazier and keep all of the legacy stuff. Um, and, and the same with Soul Calibur as well, because both of them are Bandai Namco IPs. Soul Calibur 6 just went off the rails... And that game is a hell of a lot harder than, than Soul Calibur V is. Minus execution, like they made the execution easier. But outside of that, the game is a hell of a lot harder. Um, but then if there actually was competition in the 3D fighting game space... It could, like, it could go two ways. It could either be, like, those, those games, they, they try dumbing them down to appeal to different audiences, or if there's only one or two games, like this Virtua Fighter, they they just try to steal more Virtua Fighter stuff <laughs> to try to get Virtua Fighter fans to come in. Kind of like Wakuma and Tekken 7, right? Um, 
or like on the other hand, they they could make them just want to like do more and incorporate more mechanics and just make the game more interesting to play. I, it could go both ways. It's really weird. Can't wait for more combat trailer. Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 look great, but I want Mortal Kombat. I've never been a fan of Mortal Well, okay, I was a fan of Mortal Kombat when I was a kid, but in the past like 10 years I haven't been, so I'm I'm really indifferent. They would have to do a lot to make me want to play Mortal Kombat 12 personally. But it's cool that it's uh that it's coming out, especially with all of the drama that's happened between Netherrealm and Warner Bros. I can't remember any of the specific details really, but I remember there was a lot of um things that were up in the air because of internal things that were happening between Warner Bros and Netherrealm with funding and stuff. Or Soul Calibur had a bigger team, so I wouldn't be relying on Tekken really. I'm not too into Soul Calibur, but it's a good game. Listen, Soul Cal listen, Soul Calibur is my fit look, I have I have the Shang Wa shirt, okay? Soul Calibur 6 is my favorite game. Um It what what's really interesting, I think, about Soul Calibur is that it, it it's it's maybe not interesting, but it's 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 not necessarily that Soul Calibur needs a bigger team, but it's that the problem is that Tekken is like the poster child for fighting games of Bandai Namco. And Soul Calibur is always left in the dirt. Bandai Namco does not give a single fuck about Soul Calibur. So the people that work on Soul Calibur are super dedicated to the game. And they love the franchise, which is great. And that makes Soul Calibur an amazing game, especially 6. There, there was a lot of... When Soul Calibur 4 came out, because Soul Calibur team co is constantly rotating. Like, the Tekken, the Tekken development team has basically been the same since the 90s. But Soul Calibur, like every game the team is changing. And in Soul Calibur 4, there was a big change, and they wanted to... They were like, oh, yeah, let's make the game more like Tekken, and let's make the movement slower and more like Tekken and stuff. And, um, you know, the, the game was, to me, pretty shit. Uh, if you started playing Soul Calibur with Soul Calibur 4, then people remember that in 5, but Soul Calibur 4 wasn't that great, and then Soul Calibur 5 was just worse. Soul Calibur 5, the problem was that Soul Calibur 5 was way too ambitious. Like, they had wanted, if you, if you read interviews on Soul Calibur 5, Soul Cal the, the development for Soul Calibur 5, they wanted to not only have a full cinematic cutscene story, like in, in the same way as Mortal Kombat, kind of like what's in five already, but then they wanted to do that same thing for every character in the game. And between the, um, the tsunami that hit Japan in 2011, and the fact that Bandai Namco refused to actually let them finish the project, the game was never finished. And it pretty much killed the series. And then they were given the second chance. And then the people who are like working on the game now are older fans of the game. And instead of going that route they did with like Soul Calibur 4 and 5 where they tried to Tekkenify it because Tekken was the more popular game and it was the poster child and it's the one that Bandai Namco actually gave a shit about. They were just like, nah, fuck that. Let's just make the game super crazy in a time where all these other fighting games are trying to dumb down their games. And let's go back to the old school style of games where when it comes to not only how the game functions, but especially the movement. Instead of making it like Tekken's, let's just go back to old Soul Calibur. And it's great. It's, it's, I think, it's definitely the best Soul Calibur since Soul Calibur 2. And the numbers show it. It's, it's the most successful Soul Calibur game since Soul Calibur 2. And I, I think that you're, you're absolutely right where when the series doesn't rely on Tekken and doesn't try to be like Tekken, it does so much better than if it's trying to be a Tekken clone. Uh, didn't Sega used to own Soul Cal, but they did not, but it was on the Dreamcast. 
So Caliber 1 and 2 were on the Dreamcast, but Sega didn't own it. Bandai Namco has always owned Soul Calibur. I can't remember what exactly was the reason for Soul Calibur coming into existence. It, it, it came out two years after Tekken 1. That's when Soul Edge came out. I can't remember, actually. It's been it's been way too long. I don't so I don't have the lore on that, but yeah, but that's that's I mean that's why um Yoshimitsu is in uh is in Soul Edge and all well, all of the Soul Calibur games is because uh yeah it was a Bandai Namco game and at that time guest characters just weren't a thing. I'm going, I'm going to finalize my character. You can change your appearance later on in the game. I've actually, I've, I've heard that you actually can't change your appearance later on in the game. <laughs> but maybe that's a lie. I saw a review of someone who had eight hours in the game that uh, couldn't change their, their, their character's appearance. I don't think I'm going to change it though. I spent way too much time on this already. あなたと一緒なら勝機はあります。その曲はお守りと思ってください。あなたの窮地を救ってくれるでしょう。これ以上の非道は許せません。行きましょう。Okay. Wow, the performance is actually fine. Wow. This is so much better than the demo. This is actually really good. Did you hear what happened with Soul Calibur 6's pre-development? It actually started development right after 5, but they wanted to implement a feature that would have been too difficult to actually apply so they could get it to work and the project was nuked several times before Soul Calibur 6 finally got released. I haven't heard about that. <clears throat> the only thing I really heard is that they weren't able to... They weren't able to get, uh... Get Bandai Namco to agree to... Probably lock on again. They couldn't get Bandai Namco to agree to do another Soul Calibur game. And then they released that free to play piece of shit that will we will not name. But I'm going to be honest with you. I I think it's a good thing that Soul Calibur Six took such, or Soul Calibur as a series took such a long hiatus. Because Soul Calibur, since Soul Calibur 4, I think, was going on a self-destructive path. Because it just didn't have an identity, right? Soul Calibur 4 and 5 came out, and it just didn't have an identity. It's like Soul Calibur 4 just tries to replicate Tekken with its movement, and then Soul Calibur 5 is just... forcibly trying to create this... Uh, this movement or this meter system for no reason What the hell I mean putting GI on a meter for me was the last straw It because it, garden pact is one of the defining features of soul caliber and for me, if you decide that, if you limit that by putting it on a meter for no real reason, that was, that was it for me. At that point, I was like, okay. What's even the point anymore? Just get rid of Soul Calibur and make a new IP at this point, because it's clear that they don't care.
Um, I don't have fighting styles like 3D on Mortal Kombat games. The, uh, that thing we will not mention just so happened to be my first Soul Calibur. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. Hi, JWD. Uh, didn't you transfer your progress over? So, uh, funny thing about that. I mean, one, I didn't actually do the character creation in the demo. Um, two, yeah, so funny thing. Uh, with, with, with the demo, after I finished it, the performance was so bad that I... Hold on, can I sneak behind this guy? No. The, the performance was so bad that I wanted to try to see if I could fix it. So I was playing through the demo off stream. Because if the performance was as bad as it was in a demo, I wasn't going to buy the game. It, it was just unacceptable so in me doing that i accidentally excuse me okay i accidentally deleted my save data from the demo uh, i hit the new game button by accident and it does not give you a prompt if you want to start a new game or not if you hit the new game button you fucked so i lost all of my progress <clears throat> so i'm just starting from the beginning bro that sucks i well to be fair i wasn't planning on keeping my progress anyway because I wasn't really paying attention to the, to the story or anything in the demo, so. Hopefully that only applies to demo progress. I hope so, yeah, because if it's that easy to just delete your progress in this game, then... I, I would be shocked if it was that easy. It's probably just a demo thing, though. I've been playing more Tekken, been putting more work into Devil Jin because of the trailer. Seems like a lot of people are playing Jin slash Devil Jin now. Which, you know, I don't blame them. I don't blame anyone. Jin looks super cool. I'm still going to bully all of the new Jin players, but. Personally though, I'm I'm not going to to play Jin until Tekken 8, because to me. Tekken 7 Jin just still isn't interesting. And I don't really feel the need to learn him in 7. Tekken 8 Jin to me just looks like a completely new character. And I, I would rather play that Jin than 7 Jin. <clears throat> Feels way more stiff than normal Jin, unfortunately. I mean, it it, it makes sense. Devil, like, the, the Jin has a... Is a much more technical and has a lot more options devil Jin is i feel more execution heavy but very has has a very limited move set you know i'll do the level up later i don't want to read right now He's also this odd mix of badass devil animations and awful Mishima animations. What do you mean? House sweep's fine. House sweep looks normal. <laughs> uh, just like every Mishima player talking about how other new Tekken characters look shit, but Mishimas don't. Mishimas are fine. Mishimas on anime. Sorry, I'm good. I'm losing my mind again. Don't get me started. Um, I remember downloading the game and being like, I don't think this is what Soul Calibur is supposed to be. I was like, why can't I get uh, to my character and why can't I only use a crappy custom? And why is the game constantly asking me to fork up money to be able to do anything? Hello! Hello! 
Okay, that was cool. Oh, hello. What do you mean you saw me? I was out of range. How, how are you out of range with a pole arm? Okay. I should take one of these. How do I... It was the D-pad in the demo. Oh, my health is full because I've raised the flag. That's why I can't. I forgot this guy's trying to talk to me. I thought you didn't like the pull down pull arm. I don't, but I'm going to try it anyway because I didn't really give it a fair shot in the first place. All right, so what are these? So this increases your HP and the spirit you lose when attacked. I don't think I care about that too much. Um, affect spirit gain when attacking the amount of spirit consumed by martial arts. I feel like martial arts in this game can be super overpowered. I mean, when I was playing the demo, um, the one that you come with by default, this one, was insane. Oh, they nerfed it. It's much slower now. Okay, never mind. They actually nerfed it. That is a thousand times slower. <laughs> um, I still feel like it's really good, though. Let's see. Affects equipment weigh in the amount of spirit gained when deflecting an attack. Okay. Uh, affects duration that a high-level spirit can be maintained for and the spirit consumed by wizardry spells. And then affects how easily enemies can detect uh, you and the amount of spirit consumed when deflecting. I think I like fire and earth. I know that there's, um... Yeah, with the weapon, they have different... Is there a way to... Is there a way to respec in this game? I doubt it. Well, no, there might be. Neo has it. It might just be in the hub or something. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'll wait to level up until, um... I'll wait to level up until the end of the level. Well, actually, no, because it's only... Well... Hmm. Are you playing Tekken tomorrow because I have a mission for both of us? No, I'll be playing this game again tomorrow. Okay, I thought you were going to attack my friend over there. I'm gonna go back to the flag. This first level is basically like the first Neo. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah, the, 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 the game's performance is actually, like, really good. I have absolutely no issues now. Okay, I have to get through this without taking damage. Hold on. Losing your spirit, buddy, to the big bad. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Like I said, I wasn't really paying attention to the story the first time, to be honest with you. So, I have like half an idea of what's going on. Oh my god, I got a block. Okay. This is like, this is like my training area so I can figure out what I'm doing with this giant stick. I'm also grinding. I'm going to be so powerful when I'm done with this. 
Yeah, I feel like th this, um, this attack that I have, as weird as it is, is probably better for, um, I, I couldn't parry there? Oh, right, I forgot that you can't, like, oh, you have to wait for the attack. You can't cancel in the middle of it. I just need to not lose half my health. I can do it. Just have a hard time figuring out what to do after my opponent pokes hit because it's not like I can uh, just make pressure with, with like a normal player. <clears throat> um, I mean, like the thing is, there's no one answer. Like you can sidestep. You can do another poke. Do a low. But there's no, again, there's no, there's no like answer that I can give you because there's no right answer when it comes to that kind of thing. So. Up. Oh my god, I thought- I thought my- my ally was an enemy. Okay. So I- I do see the reward you get out of using that now. I- I- I see now that the- the fact it does so much stamina damage, permanent stamina damage to the enemy is really, really good. Oh my god, you just keep hitting! I didn't expect him to, I, I expected him to have a second where he like charged up and then he attacked, but no. I like, I landed down for one now, what, what, uh, do like down back two or down back four or another down forward one or one, one or sidestep. Well, if it hits, probably not sidestep, but you could. But like I said, there's no, there's no one correct answer, so. There you go. Okay. I need to get to a point where I can just parry those basic attacks, but I still don't really recognize them yet. <clears throat> cool. I get the feeling that you're the main character, says the person following me. Thanks. I love Devil Jin Sidestep 2. You ever think a player is so good until you find a re weakness they refuse to address? All the time. Ooh, I can sneak up on this guy. Ah. You can't hear me jump. Watch, I'm gonna get this guy too. He's not gonna see me coming. Got him. Hey, right, good. I think that's everyone. Yeah, that's everyone. Yeah, formidable opponent. I got him. Oh my god. I did not mean to change weapons there. I don't even know how I changed weapons, honestly. Whatever, he's dead. Alright, 
right, we got all the flags. <clears throat> I was playing, uh, I was playing Brian against the Claudio and getting out poked and out played constantly. Then I realized I could hatchet him five times in a row and he wouldn't dug any of them. I mean, in all fairness, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people would do that if you do five in a row. Although Claudio actually has a has a 13 frame punish for it, so this is less of an excuse for him. <clears throat> Feeling crappy today today in Vanguard. I have to buy uh oh, I have to buy an expansion to build a deck I want to build, and the expansion is one second. Okay. Nice. Combos. That did a lot. Cool. No damage. <clears throat> Easy. All right, now the big guy. I'm liking. I'm liking the the Guandao more. Anyway, I have to. I have to buy an expansion to build the deck I want to build. And the expansion is eighty dollars. See, this is why I don't play digital card games, except for Master Duel, because Master Duel is very free to play friendly, but... I, I, this is why I cannot be bothered. <clears throat> okay. Alright. I'm going to switch to the sword for this one. Ah. Really? That didn't parry. Well, shit. I haven't liked the martial arts too much so far. It feels like it's very easy to go infinite with them. I, I, I'm, I'm now realizing, though, that there is, um... There is like a, a dynamic that you get from using the different weapons, right? Because it feels like, honestly, this boss was a lot easier to fight with the Guandao than the sword. Um, but, but at the same time, I feel like I wouldn't be able to fight the bigger one really with the uh, with the with this weapon. I feel like it would be a lot more difficult. <clears throat> ah. Cause the thing is with this weapon, he has that one like like that where he dodges. And normally, like when I'm using the sword, um, he would dodge out of the way of the sword and I would whiff. But when using the Guan Dao, he uh he actually can't get out of the way. So I feel like it, it, it no, it does not, it's not just a feeling, it definitely makes the fight easier. Ah, shit. There you go. 
go. I'll try doing this one with this as well. Nice. Okay. Right. Ah, there was a third hit there. I couldn't remember. Is that the only three big slow attacks in a row challenge impossible? What do you mean? I don't need three in a row. I think I haven't gotten any good ones yet. I mean, the default one that you get with the sword is insane. <clears throat> It basically just leads to an infinite. A friend said, oh, it's only 20 bucks. No, it's not. That's card games. It's an infinite. Okay. Ah, oh, that was so slow. What? Okay, whatever. I was expecting that to break his, uh, his whatchamacallit. Okay, well, I tried to just parry there. I wanted him to parry so I could heal. That's why I didn't kill him. I wanted to heal before he transformed. We. Nice. Okay. Let's put him in the corner. Bop, 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 bop. Go on, roll away. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, yeah, the... Mm. I'm not used to not being able to cancel immediately. <clears throat> right? Like, I have to wait for the attack to actually finish before I can parry there. So I'm just like, I'm, I'm just basically hitting the attack button until he attacks and then I'm trying to parry and you can't. I'm not used to it. It's probably gonna take me a while. Ah. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, this is this. It's like what I was saying before, though. Like, okay. This f part of the fight feels more difficult with the spear than. <clears throat> oh, that was fast. I think I only saw that move once in the demo. This is more difficult with the spear than it is with the sword. Because he doesn't get staggered on any of the hits, right? So having, I feel like having a faster weapon is more important so that you can, because if you don't have the, the sword, if you don't have the faster attacks with the sword and you're using the slow attacks with the spear, you have less opportunities to actually hit him. 
So I feel like... I feel like I should be switching to the sword. We'll see. Let's try it. Okay. Right. I, I keep forgetting. I can't just keep hitting buttons. It's going to take a while for me to get used to. It really is. All I need to do is when I see the red light is to just stop hitting the attack button because it gives me enough time to be able to parry. <clears throat> yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Okay, well, that time it actually didn't. That time I hit him on wake up and I, I didn't because this it's so slow. I actually didn't have enough time to parry. I didn't use the default sword because the damage was so puny. I wonder if I even have another weapon at this point. I don't. Oh, I have new armor. Oh, it's the same thing. This is better defense. Nah, I'll just keep the default equipment for now. It's fine. I mean, I only used the, the default equipment in the demo pretty much. I didn't level up either. I could level up and make this easier, but that'd be lame. Wow, I actually, I actually lost that trade. Okay. Oh! I'm not used to this guy actually getting a turn. My bad. Boop, boop, boop. I, I did it again where I kept hitting the attack button after I saw the red light. <clears throat> I grabbed the 25 morale in a couple levels to beat this guy. Really? What does morale even do in this game? I still don't know. Okay, there you go. Okay. Alright. I'm being more deliberate with my button presses now. Instead of just hitting the button, I'm trying to time it with when I'm actually attacking. I feel like it's working out more. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Yeah, okay. I actually, like, instead of mashing the button, I actually, like, timing my button presses is doing a, a lot more for me. Who would have thought? Right. Oh my god, that's so slow. <clears throat> okay. Really, no parry. Ah.
Okay. There we go. I feel like a lot of time with this guy, you have to parry him, right? Dead. Not quite. This should kill him though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I think that's right, which is cool, right? <clears throat> I mean, you can clearly see that was a thousand times easier with the sword because I could parry more frequently. But that definitely taught me what, what I wasn't doing, like even in the demo, is that, um, like, I, I, I feel like how, how the parry timing works. How, how the parry timing works is like an anti-masher mechanic, right? Because of how, of, of the cancel window that exists with the parry, it makes it so that you have to be more intentional with when you're attacking. And to be more intentional, you have to know the weapon attack patterns. And so as soon as I start mashing, all of a sudden I could parry everything. You just have to be deliberate with it. And you have to like at hit confirm everything and pay attention. And I, I, I like that. I think that's, that's cool. And I mean, yeah, the, like, like actually having a reason to use different weapons as well is, is neat. <clears throat> I, I hope that continues to be a thing throughout the game if it is or not who knows but i like it i think that's cool it changes the damage you do enemies with more morale are harder to damage if they have the same it's easier okay do they ever do they ever actually explain how the morale system works or is it just like it's there and you have to guess what it does? Because I don't think the tutorial ever told me what it actually does. Talisman Black just shows up out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere, it was out of me. How the hell did he come out of you? I don't know, man. I don't make the rules. Your character just did a super dragon fist. Excuse me. <clears throat> don't ask questions. I got a hammer. All right, I'll try out the hammer. I, I'm... I'm more in favor of the the pole on now. I don't think I don't think I'll like the hammer, but I I can respect the pole on. Oh, this puts my equipment weight to medium. Does that actually do anything? <clears throat> oh, I can't. Oh, I see. So if I have my equipment, my equipment weight at light, then you can see I can dodge infinitely, right? And it takes no stamina after the initial one. <clears throat> but if I have it at medium,
then I can only do it once. And it also costs a little bit more stamina, it looks like. But I can only do, like... Oh, God. I can only do this once, and then I can roll. Okay. Oh, this is a legendary. Oh, I'll put that one on. Character's been training with Goku, maybe. All right. We got 10,000 points. We should level up. Um. See, okay, this says, oh, it is equipment weight limit. It's not, it doesn't affect proportion. <clears throat> There's nothing that affects proportion. Hmm. I wish there was something that affects proportion. I don't think Earth I really care for going into because I think for the most part I want to keep my equipment lightweight. I want to be able to dodge multiple times. <clears throat> but it does increase the spirit gain when deflecting. I feel like I feel like this is a good one because being able to use martial arts a lot. I think leads to some combos. <clears throat> the problem is I don't want to level up right now because I still don't know what wizardry spells are. Was that third one ranged attack weapon power? Yeah. Affects the damage and having the stats affect uh, accumulation dealt by your stone attacks. And then received. Oh, okay. It talks and attacks. Damage and shock stats uh, affect accumulation dealt by lightning, and then that's burn, heaviness, poison, and chill. Like, I feel like fire is the best one to go into, right? Why can't I... Is it... It's because of my mouse. It's actually because of my mouse. <laughs> You only get spells from leveling up. I see. So that's why I didn't see them when I did the demo, because I didn't level up once. Okay, I, I'm going to assume that you can respec in this game. I'm going to assume that you can, so I'm going to go into Fire Virtue. I think I'll do one of these, actually. I don't think Metal Virtue... I really care about and I don't think like the thing is when gaining spirit when deflecting an attack 
I don't think that's all that relevant. Well, maybe it is actually. <clears throat> it depends, right? Because I feel like if you increase the amount of spirit you gained when attacking and consumed by martial arts, because the thing is, right? You can you can deflect an attack and then just hit them, right? And I feel like that means that having the fire virtue kind of mitigates this if you're not going for the 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 high armor, which I'm not. But then you can also punish with a spirit attack. But then this reduces the amount of spirit consumed by martial arts. I've just been stacking Earth since I assume it's like Neo where you want to dump in the one stat. Yeah, it probably is. Ugh. The problem is too though that this um this increases your burn damage, right? Whatever, I, I'm, I'm going to assume I can respec. I have earned two wizardry spell points for each of the five phases. I don't know what that means. Okay, wizardry spells, what is this? Oh God. I did not see this in the demo. Um, I really do hope uh, oh, Kazumi is in Tekken. You said cast, and I thought I thought you were talking about Cassandra for a second. I was confused. I've been putting uh, in all this to learn her, so I have somewhere to start for the next game. Personally, I think if Kazumi is going to be in Tekken Eight, she'll be DLC. And I don't think it's impossible. Base Rasta, though. I would be surprised if she was. Okay. Wizardry spells. Oh, so every... So, like, if I put three points into wood, then I can unlock this set, this tree, right? Is that how it works? I'm assuming that's how it works. And then there's like a Z. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, I can, the description button. Virtue of the same phase required to cast a spell. Morale rank required to cast this spell. Mouse spirit consume when casting a spell. I see, so, so if you, the more that you gain morale, the more spells you're able to cast. Okay, sure. So, does the two here mean I have two that I can unlock? I'm assuming so. Call down a bowl of lightning on a locked on target. Okay. Uh, increases automatic recovery during low spirit and decreases automatic depletion during high spirit. Okay, that's something that you that you use to like set up. Draws branches on the ground at your feet, activating it again while the branches remain will call down lightning. Oh, so it's Rachel. Okay. Restore HP so you get lifesteal. Increases spirit gain when attacking. Increases accumulation of divine beasts. Okay, so this stuff on the right is like utility and this stuff on the left is, is combat. Okay. Yeah, and that, that's the amount of points that I can get. Okay. I like the idea of this one, but it is until I, I leveled up to eight that I can actually use it, huh? So I'm probably not even going to get it anytime soon. What's this one? Uh, enchants your melee weapon with lightning. That's very strong. Hurls a lightning bolt forward. Okay, that's pretty sick. Reduces damage allies taken inside of it. Okay, I, I I think I'll just get this. I'll get these two. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to spend on anything else anyway. Two points for spells, I think. Maybe it depends on if you're getting the high level spells or not. Emits an eruption of fra frames? Flames to the front. Hurls a Monty of fire in front of you. Zoning tool. Literal fireball. Uh, discharges a ball of fire that flies on a gravitational arc and explodes upon hitting an enemy or terrain. Okay. I feel like that's just worse than this one, but all right. Um, For a certain period of time, increases both the damage you deal to enemies and receive from them. That sounds awful with what I'm building. Um, for a certain period of time, and enchants it with fire. Summon continuous eddies of flame in front of you. Deals damage over time to any enemy that comes in contact with it. So I'm assuming that allies, it's fine. Seems like it could be good. Multiple fireballs in a cone-shaped area. Large ball of fire. Okay. Oh, I can just get this. I only need it to be at three. Yeah, I'll get that then. Oh, I need to get both of these to do it. Okay, that's fine. This is still neat. Earth. Summons rock pills in front of you. They'll explode and knock the enemies away upon contact. Okay. Ah. Uh, for a certain period of time, you receive less damage from enemies and will not flinch except from some powerful attacks. That seems pretty strong. Grants an ability to increase enemy stone ailment accumulation by deflecting. That seems pretty good. Uh, enchants your current melee weapon with stone. Oh, wait, I can't even use most of these anyway because I'm not going to be leveling up stone. Well, I'll, I'll still see what these do because maybe this will change my mind. Grants a single use effect that prevents your morale rank from decreasing when you dealt critical blow by an enemy. Okay. This is an attack using power of earth phase. Eh. Earth pillars that linger and then explode. Earthquake. That draws enemies into its center. That sounds terrible. Uh, I'm good on this. I like I I'll 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 buy this anyway. You know, no, I'll save them. I I don't feel a need to really have any of these, honestly. Um, bubbles of poison that will burst and generate a poison bog when they hit enemies or terrain. Cause damage over time to enemies touching it. Okay. A cursed bolt enemies hit will recover from spirit disruption more slowly for a certain period of time. That seems like a combo piece. I'm immediately getting that. Because that just lets you to hit them for long while they're staggered. That sounds insane. Depending on how effective it is, anyway. Yeah, we'll just get... I'll just get both of these. They both sound pretty decent. Um, sharply pointed icicle. Uh, it, it's a fireball. It's a fireball. Okay. I'm seeing patterns. Reduces sp uh, consumption of spirit when deflecting. Sets a trap at your feet. Enemies that step on the trap will be impaled by a sharp icicle and take damage. Increases movement speed. Ooh, that sounds good. Turns your body invisible and undetected. That sounds insane. Not fireball. Reduced, reduced targeting ability for a certain period of time. This actually sounds... Kind of bad, depending on how the parry system in this game works. Enchant's weapon with ice. Allows you to instantly teleport when I get it to 20? What? The, that sounds insane. That sounds really, really cool. Um...
Yeah, all right, I'll get both of these. And whatever, I, I guess I'll get these. Okay, set the spells. How does this work? Oh, I can only set four of them at a time. I see. I think having the zoning tool would be pretty good, but I feel like... I like that one more. Eh, I don't really need the Absorb Vitality. Let's do that, and then I guess I'll do this. I think they let you have a few spells for basically free so that you can see what you like. It definitely changes how I'm feeling about leveling up the, um... How I'm feeling about leveling up the, well, I guess the... I guess just how I feel, like, leveling up in general, I suppose. Okay, so this is on square, X, circle, and triangle. So square and circle are my projectiles. I have triangle for my fireball and X is my utility. Okay. And how long does this last? Like, I can use it here. Oh, I, okay, so I just, I just use it and then forget about it. Okay, I don't know where I am. Like, this, it didn't lock on to any of the enemies that I wanted it to. Like, ah! Uh... Like, I kept deflecting the enemies. I kept deflecting the enemies, but it, it wouldn't lock on to them, so I couldn't hit them. Absorb Vitality spells always suck in games. I always get them and they're never worth it. You're not wrong. I mean, if you've seen me play Souls games as well, I basically never use healing either, so I just don't... I don't see the point in having something that, that gives me health for attacking anyway. <laughs> My hair, it's gone. Alright, I can call Zhao Yun. I remember there being something over here. Oh, right, I, don't, I have medium armor on. Doesn't have to replace actual healing mechanics, but it can even help, uh, help you save items most of the time. True. Yeah, because it's like at that point, like, it, it's not really going to do anything with bosses, right? And if you're in the middle of a level, just go back to one of the flags and heal. If you need to heal that bad. I also need to switch to my hammer. Might be a bad idea considering where my health is at, but... Okay, I didn't understand what this was before, so I'm going to read this again. Enemies that defeat players on other battlefields may appear on your battlefields as vengeance targets. The details of the defeated player can be checked at the burial flag. A vengeance target will have a raised morale rank, but you can also receive various bonuses after defeating them. By offering a dragon's cure pot used at a burial flag, you can temporarily raise your morale rank. Okay. So if I, so, what I'm, I, I don't understand how this works, because, 
I don't want to use the dragon's cure pot to raise my morale rank because I, I don't need to. But I don't know how to actually activate the burial flag. Why is my screen flashing? It might be HDR, actually. I have HDR on. Um... I don't know. Hold on a sec. Wanna wanna check something real quick. No, that definitely looks dark. Why does the game look so dark? Um If I turn off HDR will it look better? Where's my graphic settings? No, the game just just looks this dark. Does the game does the game really look this dark? What? The game really looks this dark? Like normally? That's crazy. Yeah, no, like that, the screen brightness was correct as well. Wow, this, I love HDR. Can I just say that? Like you, you can't see what I'm seeing because it, you can't stream HDR, but, but let me tell you, this game looks so much less gray and sad with HDR on. I, I love it. I love HDR so much. I'm so glad I got an HDR monitor. Really? Okay. There's a flag over here. Oh, it's on top of the mountain. Okay. I may as well. Loot. It's like, again, what I'm getting at is I can just do this and then wait a second for my morale to come back and then it's just fine, right? Okay. Oh, I wasn't locked on to him. That's so annoying. Okay. I forgot the lock on button. There's too much going on in my head. And we have the flags here. Loot. I got a hairpin. God, dude, like, I'm, I'm looking at OBS and I'm like, there's no way that's correct. There's no way the game is supposed to be this dark, but I, I think it is, which is crazy. But like, if I turn HDR off, it looks exactly the same as it does in OBS. It's just like, it's hard to believe that that's what it's supposed to look like. That's the wrong controller. Um, I may as well, right? Let's see, what else did I get? That's just worse. So is that. Well, it doesn't increase my non-Earth stats. By quite a bit, actually. And it makes me light.
What is the special effects on this? Let's see. Damage received when attacking is reduced. Spirit damage is increased. Uh, genuine key of tension is increased. Earth phase spell spirit consumption is decreased, which is irrelevant because I don't have earth spells. This deflects spirit consumption and damage to enemies with burns is increased. And it makes me light. Yeah, sure. Why, why not? I didn't find all of the flags too in the demo, so I want to look for them now. All oh, right, this is the uh, the shortcut. Can I go up this way? I doubt it. Yeah, I can't. I don't think there's anything else this way, right? I never went this way. Bop. Oh, this is just another way to get here. I see. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's anywhere else to go over here, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to go at the beginning here. Okay, let's not accidentally jump off the edge. I get anything new? I got a bow. Cool. Anything back here? Yeah, 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 I have a bow. Pop. What? Yeah, I hit him. Get him, Zhao. Zhao, you moron. He almost got me there. Oop. Went all the way around these buildings and all I got for it was these two arrows. Hey, look at that guy over there. Now we wait. Because he just knows where we are now for some reason. Hello! I missed. Goodbye! Goodbye. Oh, I love when they just do the same attack over and over again. Dude, what is... I Can you see the white flashing on the stream? I hope you can. It, it, I, I think it's the HDR. I think there's something weird with the HDR going on. But there's this constant, like, white flashing on my screen. It's happening a lot, like, over here for some reason. 
It has to be the HDR. I think it's something with one of the lighting effects. See, now when I'm looking at OBS, it's not happening. I just want to know if it's happening or not. Because if I see it happening in OBS, I'm going to turn off the HDR. I'll just keep note of the time, I guess, and look... Look at the, uh... That was. I saw it! I saw it on the- I saw it on the- on- on Twitch. I saw it on the Twitch stream. I think. Out of the corner of my eye. I actually wasn't- Wait. Wait, look. Look for it. Look for it. No, it didn't happen on Twitch. Okay, well, I guess it's just me then. That's fine. As long as it's just me, I don't care. It's not that annoying. I just don't want anyone watching the stream to get epilepsy from it, honestly. But now I just sound like a crazy person, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I saw it. It came off of this, um, this little glowing orb. It's something weird with the lighting effects, I guess, with HDR. Whatever. Followers share their spirits. Perform a fail strike on one of them to reduce their spirit gauges. The stronger the enemy bound to a spirit conjunction, the more spirit gauge will be reduced. Okay. So, kill the leader. And then beat the shit out of the little guy. Okay. I got a small key pot. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's Chinese. A small chi pot. There's a guy that was killed over here. Is there a bandit somewhere? I'm also still looking for wherever this flag could be. It's like a Kodoma in, uh, in Neo. So now I'm looking for the flags for some reason, and I don't really know why, to be honest with you. Oh, I, I did see this before. Can I be open from the other side? Oh, shut up. Where's the dog? There's the dog. Hi, dog. Thank you, Zhao. Appreciate it, bud. Wait, this is the house, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's this house. Ah, I found it. Flag! Yeah, I didn't find this flag before. Yeah, okay. I already got that. There's enough flag right up here. There's also something over here. Well, I'll get this flag first because I'm going to get to come back for it. I can also probably level up now, right? Reinforcements have been unlocked. What is reinforcements? Oh, okay. It's easy mode. Um, level up. I don't quite have enough. Okay, cool. All right, the dog. Stupid dog. It's got reach! What's targeting me? Okay, well that answers that question. Can 
Yellow Turban Bandit Footwear. It increases Earth again, though. Which I really don't need. Increases flame damage, negative effect duration on enemies, damage taken in desperate condition. What's the set bonus? If there even is a set bonus. Oh, it's at the bottom there. I see. Okay. That's fine. I'm fine with the ones I have now. Also gotta remember to use my spells. <clears throat> and there's some guys over there. There's an archer up there. I don't remember going this way last time. Ah! This leads to nowhere. Hello there, buddy. Okay, that was fun. I didn't go up here last time. This is completely new to me. All right, so what one should I target? They're both eight, but this one has a scarier triangle on him. Oh, there's another archer. Ah, oh, no, that's bad. First time I've seen that attack. Okay. Um, Archer up here. I can lock on to him. Magic missile! Doesn't do a lot of damage. Come on, Zhao, you got him, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Zhao, keep distracting him. Good job, Zhao. Oh my god, that miss. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you, you and me, buddy. We we're going to beat them up. We're going to be so terrified of us, they're not going to see us coming. Oh, man. Um. Sure, let's increase the fire for it some more. I like the extra damage, I think. <clears throat> I feel like that's just the way to go, right? I feel like the other ones that are like, oh, you have more HP or oh, you have more armor. Basically, just make it so it's like, you don't get punished as hard for getting hit. But I want to get punished for getting hit. That's the thing. So that's why I don't really care to go into those two because I play these games enough and I put and I feel like the way I play them in makes it so that I don't need the extra buffer so it's better for me to just be able to do more damage when I do things correctly you know okay I didn't go this way Ooh, there's a shiny. 
Rank one leather. I'm, I'm guessing that's a blacksmith thing. An iron sword? A foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword. This is barely any different. What is this attack? I feel like that's not very good, uh, especially like the, the, the one that the default sword comes with is legitimately overpowered. But for the sake of variety, I'll try it. Is there anyone else to go here? I think that's it. Oh? Okay. I forgot enemies respawned. Nice one. Thanks, Xiao. I totally didn't have him, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, this this attack lingers for quite a bit, huh? He just he walked into it. After I had cast it already. Oh wait, why am I going up here? Dot, you stupid fucking dog, fuck you. I'm gonna go heal. That's supposed to be a teaching moment where the game tells you to check your corners and your ceilings. I, that, that didn't reach. That reached. Nice whiff. Dollar store fire. Okay, listen, it's it's like it's like Dollar General fire, okay? Not not generic dollar store. It's a little bit better than that. More chief flakes. I should probably use those. I remember playing. I can't remember if it was Neo One or Neo Two. Maybe it was both. It was probably Neo Two actually. Um, I got to like the end of the game and didn't use any of the. Why is the game lagging so much now? I didn't use any of the chi, or um, Amrita crystals. Let me be careful here. Thanks for the tip. And so at the end of the game, I had like five level ups just from Amrita Crystals because I forgot to use them. I'm not going to make that same mistake this time. Okay. New flag. Fireball from Wish.com. There you go. Sucks there's no two-handed sword so far. Probably historically accurate, but still makes me mad. Or it still makes me sad, not mad. Well, there's dual swords, right? There's dual swords in this game. That's technically two-handed. There were definitely two-handed swords at this time as well. Though I don't know about in Asia, to be fair.
Okay, I remember the guy that's up there, and I remember what I have to do to him. Hi, buddy. Nice toss. Aw, poor widow baby can't reach here. Oh, I can't either, shit. All right, thanks for letting me line that up. I'm I'm not used to aiming anything I controller. I didn't even know I could do that. We must hurry. Hold on, just give me a second. I got this. There's another one here, right? Was it really only those two? I could have sworn there was another one. All right, well, whatever. Let's go fight the big bad. Remember this guy? I remember this guy. Look at all of these flags. Oh, man. We are not falling back. Fuck off. Shut up. Not to be pussy. And one, and two, and a bing, and a boom. I feel like, oh, maybe I just targeted his corpse. Yeah, I guess I did. I remember there only being three, but I saw the indicator there for a second. Um, let me just, let me activate this real quick. Because why not? I don't think anybody had two handed swords and two ADAD, at least not common or decent ones. You might be right. Like I said, I'm not sure. All right, Zhao, you got him, bud. I did, I did the heavy lifting, you can finish the job. See, when I actually, like, deal with the archers this time, because I know they're there the first time around, it makes the whole thing a lot easier. Got better wooden hammer. Um, it's the same spirit thing. Boulder glide and mountain strike. This has a mountain strike and C split. Is the boulder guide in the orange color? Does that mean something? Does that mean it's like a rare special ability? Let's see what C split is. Okay, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep the other one. Wait, what is this? A white wooden cudgel. What is a cudgel? It's a staff? I didn't, I didn't see any staffs in the demo. Okay, let's see the attack pattern. Okay. I can really delay these attacks, so it's a four hit string. Okay. Oh my god, this game is lagging so much now. So that final hit doesn't actually change. It's always the same. Wait, was it different there? No, it wasn't. Okay. Alright, what are these? 
That is such a long startup. That's like unusable. Look at this startup. That's crazy. That's better. Uh, I'm gonna... One second. I'm gonna... I got the flag right, yeah. I'm gonna pop up MSI Afterburner real quick and just make sure that the... The stuttering isn't happening because of thermal throttling or something because my fans aren't turning on. Um... Okay, I'm going to manually increase my fan speed. Because my GPU... Oh, no, that's my CPU. What's my GPU at? Oh, yeah, my GPU temperature is reaching 100 degrees because my fan isn't turning on. Yeah, that's bad. Thanks, uh, thanks, AMD. That's... That's dangerous. Hold on. Wait, that's weird. Okay, so, so, um... So AMD Radeon is saying that my current temp GPU temperature is 74 degrees and MSI Afterburner is saying it's 100. <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay, I'm going to turn up the fan speeds either way, but for some reason I can't, uh... I can't turn them up in Afterburner, like it's just not working, so give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna... I don't have a numpad on, I guess. Uh, guys, I think my keyboard is fucked. Um... Okay, I'll have to do this manually. <laughs> Give me a minute! Oh, that's my GPU usage! Okay, my GPU temperature is still... Oh, no, 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 okay, it is at like 75. No, I... Okay, I, I was looking at my GPU usage. No, actually, this is correct. Yeah, the junction temperature is at 87. I still want to turn up the, the fan speed, though. Um, give me one minute. My keyboard isn't working. Okay, well, that's new. Uh, I'm going to use my other one, then. This key, my, The keyboard I have now has been being replaced, though. I've been getting double inputs on it and stuff, so it's actually not that surprising. I actually don't know how to change the fan speed on here anymore because I think they changed where it is. Oh, and they also, um, my GPU isn't being overclocked anymore for some reason, even though I had it set to overclock. That's cool. Thanks, AMD. You assholes. Here we go, okay. Advanced control, I want... Want to be like that. It's really weird because the way that this is set up is that my fan should be running at... There they go. There they go. Oh, AMD and it's shitty f fucking bullshit software. Okay, now my fans are actually running. Now the temperature is going down. Okay, I think I'm good now. Um...
Okay, I'll just keep it at that and I'll, I'll overclock my GPU again later. All right. We're good. Let's, uh, let's go back. I would explain why it's been getting so hot in my room. Actually, I should probably get a fan as well. Let's level up. I don't really care about the spirit consumed by wizardry spells, to be honest. I don't see myself using them that often. Um, just because they're so slow, right? With how slow they are, I feel like a lot of the time there are better things you can do until you get the higher level spells. So I'm not really that concerned about it. Um, I do think I like less spirit being consumed when deflecting. Although it doesn't, it already doesn't consume that much spirit, right? Like. But if I can get it really far down, then that'd be good. And also, I think I want more of the water spells, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, because it has like the invisibility and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I think what I'm going to do in this is I want to go for the water and fire spells. Ah, I see, and you get you get a point for all of them after you get to certain intervals. Okay. So it's the increased movement speed I think would be nice to have. Just in general, like it's not something I would really use that often, but I, I think just having it would be nice. I think this actually has some utility too that would be good, but I, I think just having being able to move faster. I guess it depends on how much faster you can move. But I'll wait, because I can't use it right now anyway, so there's no point. Um, for fire... I don't think I'm going to really use that. Yeah, this is the one here I wanted. We'll get that. And then the rest of them, I think I'll just, I'll just leave it. So we'll set this, and then we'll swap... We'll swap the ice one, I think. For the big AoE attack. And then this one actually seems good because it 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 has such it lingers for so long. So we'll just go with that. Ah. Thank you. All right, is there a reason to go back down here? I don't think so, right? Yeah, so that just leads back to the uh, flag, but I, I think that flag is just fine, so. We'll just keep going. Oh, this is the boss. Oh, right, but the, this is not a boss after this one. Okay. Here <laughs> Massive man. I don't remember this fight at all, actually. I 
shouldn't do it. As I said. We'll just do this. Okay. Yup. Yup. Ah, shit. Nice, Sue. Okay. There we go. Almost fucked it up. But we're good. <clears throat> do, do. Pop, pop. That's new. All right, cool. That was easy. I just, I, I, I never, I never saw it do that, uh, that second attack before, so it threw me off. All right, not bad. Imagine if you died right there. It happened when I played the demo. The first time I, I fought that thing, I, I was, I had it on a pixel, and then it did that same thing where it did a, one of those red moves that I hadn't seen before, and I completely mistimed it and died. I like the staff. <笑>あ、<笑> わかれ際に笑顔を持ち戦は キリンのごとく。太平の道を切り開かん。行こう。この山を奪還し。all right so I, I i have been completely forgetting to do this before <clears throat> but to be fair even in neo i didn't really use the spirits i just forgot about them um yeah okay it's the same as the spirits So I, I have two different ones I can do. I can do like an attack and when the gauge is full, uh, I it, it powers up. Okay. <clears throat> gotcha. So... Can I see that while I'm in here? Ooh. I mean, this is a legendary, but at the same time, it's heavy. Power drop upon fatal strike on an enemy. That sounds insane for boss fights. Uh, 
Um, what else do we got? This one isn't bad. This one's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I'll put that on. Um. Also a fire helmet, which is good for your build. That's true. But I, I, I prefer having the light armor, though, I think. I like having the ability to dodge multiple times. Even if I'm not using it all that frequently. Um... This is just a straight upgrade, yeah. And then I got ranged weapons. Negates effects of all current vengeances when used. Oh, okay, so if I don't want to deal with any of the online vengeance bullshit, then I can use this and it's an unlimited use. That's nice. I've received following items after increasing my fame points. Cup of Quadality times one. Cool. Uh, no, not that. Divine Beast? Oh, this is just lore. It is said to live for 2,000 years and have an appearance uh, combining elements of a deer, an ox, and a horse. This auspicious creature is thought to appear in times when the ruler is just and apparently visited Confucius when he was born. From the Zhao period to the Han period, it was revered as dragons and became associated with the earth phase and the five phases theory. It also features the term Chilin Child, used to refer to an outstandingly talented youth with a bright future. Okay. What about characters? What? Who's um? Who's this guy? Oh my God! It automatically scrolls. Stop. Zhang Ling. Hailing from Julu Kamad, what stop? Why? At the end of the Lair Han period, amid the why? Why does this auto scroll? It all uh, it, it what? Why does this auto scroll like this? It's just gone. What? What the hell? Okay, what? Hmm. What? I, I can barely... <laughs> Only speed readers can play a game. Morons need not apply. Team Ninja. That's so bad. Like, how am I supposed to read any of this when it's like that? Let alone out loud. Oh, that's so annoying. Like, I kind of wanted to read this stuff, but when it's... When it's just scrolling through like this... It makes it so much harder. Alright, Zhao Yun is a warrior from the Jingding country. Chang's hand uh, commodity with the currency name Zhilong. Known to many as Zhao Zhilong of Changshan, he is famed as a virtually peerless warrior of imposing stature and countenance, having been handpicked for service from among the citizens of his home commodity in Changshan. He now leads a militia force of commoners to join the war. He is a reliable and dignified man who shows no interest in gaining rank or fortune, instead seeking to serve under a just lord to resolve the plight of the common people. Skilled in logistical manners, as well as combat, many consider him the idea general. Horsemanship is also among his strengths, and he was known to have led 
you province's elite known as White Horse's Servant Cavalry. That was so hard to get through because of this auto-scrolling text. Oh my god. Why can't we just manually scroll? I don't get it. Oh wait, these are different people. Taoist in black and Zhang Jiao. I'm going to have to read this on my own. This is impossible. Okay. The blindfolded boy. Listen, we have to read this stuff if we're going to understand the game's story, all right? And no one else is going to read it, so I'm going to read it. The blindfolded boy is a young man whose true identity is unknown. He currently resides in a small mountain village located on Langya Kamandari, Chu province. He turned up at the village after fleeing the fires of war that devastated his home. Although he has no family to rely on, he is on good terms with the villagers and manages to live a simple life despite the world remaining rife with conflict. <clears throat> he has a calm demeanor and a keen intellect beyond his young years, meaning he isn't easily phased. He is not fond of violence, but will take up arms to protect himself. In the chaos of the Yellow Turban Rebellion, the once peaceful mountain village fell victim to raiding bandits. So wait, did he... So wait, he was in one village that got burned to the ground because of a rebellion, fled to another village, and then they came to that village and burned that one down as well. Is that what's ha what happened? Is that what this is saying? The boy in the village as he fought bravely alongside was saved in the darkest hour by the the protagonist. Don't even try to give him a name or anything. Just the protagonist. <laughs> Incredible. After succumbing to wounds she sustained while protecting the boy, the protagonist was resurrected through the power of the jade. Okay. Because that was kind of left to, like, we don't know if they died and got resurrected or they were healed or something. But no, we the, the, the protagonist just straight up died. Together with the protagonist. Like, they don't even try. I kind of love it. Uh, they fought fiercely to the vet, defeat Zhang Liang, uh, the general of man, and his group of bandits. However, a Taoist in black, disguised as the protagonist, injected the boy with elixir, turning him and his divine beast Ying Long into a demon. Now transformed into Shi Long, he threw the protagonist off a cliff. <laughs> Where have I seen that one before? Oh, I hate this. We're going to have to read these then to understand the story because all of that was not explained at all. All right, all right, Taoist in Black. The Taoist in Black is of unknown origin. Although almost 100 years old, he remains in good health thanks to the elixir's effects. Uh, adept in the manipulation of evil demonic Qi. Uh, is it Qi or Qi? It's Qi, right? It's Qi in Chinese. I don't speak any Chinese, by the way. Uh, he drastically differs from the other Taoists who seek enlightenment through inherently good wizardry spells. He clings desperately to the ideal of the elixir and what it will help him achieve and will eliminate anyone who hinders his quest. He is able to disguise himself as other people and take advantage of the bonds they share with others. He has no regard for human life or the fate of those who become demons, doing whatever he must to complete his quest. What a one-dimensional villain. This is like the lamest, most generic villain I have ever heard of in my life. Uh, he wants to be mortal and he like kills people so he could be immortal. And he, uh, he uses magic for evil when other people use it for good. So he's different. Okay, we, we read Zhao Lun. All right, Zhang Zhao. Zhang Zhao, hailing from Zhulu Kamadari, is one of the leaders of the Yellow Turbans, as well as the originator of the Taiping Taoism. 
at the end of the later Han period, amid the nurture, nurturing of the imperial court due to political conflict between corrupt bureaucrats, floods, earthquakes, and rebellion were rampant. Oh, okay. Um, and because of powerful fa and because powerful families took over much of the land, farmers lost their land and famine took hold. Okay, so that makes more sense why the rebellion's happening. And I'm, I'm, this is the Han Rebellion, right? I'm, I'm just now re remembering, like, that this is a, that the, like, real rebellion, but I know so little of the rebellion. Um, during this, Zhang Zhao, who had received elixir from a, a black clad Taoist, took on the title of Great Sage Mentor and began gathering adherents as he forced us to repent for their sins. <laughs> Sounds like Far Cry. <laughs> he forced us to repent for their sins and aided those who suffered from disease. Eventually, his followers numbered in the hundreds of thousands and he took on the title of General of Heaven. He bade his flowers in all provinces to rise up, greatly disturbing the order. Wait for it. And rulership of the Imperial Court. He doesn't sound like a bad guy, right? He sounds like a good guy, if anything. Right? Like, is it just me? Like, the Imperial Court is rent with corruption. Farmers are losing their land in this famine. The Imperial Court doesn't do anything. So this guy comes along and gathers people to start a rebellion against the Imperial Court for being a bunch of corrupt assholes who are doing nothing while a bunch of people are dying because of famine. Like, he seems like a good guy, right? All right, Zhang Bao, hailing from Zhulu Kamadri, is one of the leaders of the Yao Turbans. Like, the Yao Turbans don't seem, like, that bad. Right? Like, when you read the actual lore, they, like, at least that guy doesn't seem that bad. Like, sure, they're built burning villages to the ground and murdering innocent people, and that's fucked up. But... The reasons behind it, starting in the first place, don't seem that bad. Anyway, um, at the end of the Leia Han period, amid the nurturing of the Imperial Court due to political conflict between corrupt bureaucrats, yeah, 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 the rebellion um, from his lost their land. So during this time, Zhang Bao, along with his brothers, Zhang Zhao and Zhang Liang, Received elixir from a black cat towers the top of the mountain. Uh, with the newfound power, the three started a rebellion to unseat the corrupt house of the Han and take power for themselves to realize the yellow heaven. Zhang, uh, Zhang Bao took on the title of General of Earth and tormented the Imperial Army using his fearsome sorcery. Like, they don't seem that bad. Okay, yeah, they're trying to take power for themselves, but they're actively trying to fight against a corrupt government. You know? Like, I feel like they're not that bad. I think uh, one of the main story beats that got set up in the demo was that Yale Turbans were originally justified but became drunk with power and uh, became the thing they were fighting. That would make sense. Goals are usually noble, but if the results are always nasty, then the goals don't matter. True. Well, it's not necessarily that the goals don't matter. Like, the goals are still important because you can still, like, start this rebellion, but then if the people who are, like, these guys are leaders of the rebellion and start going off of what they intentionally set to do and you, like, overthrow them or they die or something, you can still continue on what everyone else joined for in the first place, right? So it's not like it's completely irrelevant. Um... Okay, so during this, Jean Liang, along with his brothers, received elixir, yep. Um... So this, he's general of man, and in the absence of Zhang Zhao...
Led the yellow turbans as they repelled the imperial army. Okay. And like the other thing is too about them burning down the villages and stuff. Like the, the, the blindfolded boy is clearly someone who's supposed to be like, is supposed to show that not everything they're doing is just. But at the end of the day, what they're doing is they're fighting the imperial army, right? And I don't know how it is in China during this time. But if what they're doing is they're going to places and they're burning down villages where the Imperial Army is specifically to overthrow the government. Like, it, it's a fucked up means to an end, but at the end of the day, if the Imperial Army is there, then that's what the Imperial Army is, right? Like, if there's no better way to do it, then what are they going to do, you know? Like, if your goal is to bring down the Imperial Army and they're hiding amongst civilians, but what you're doing is ultimately for the greater good. And like, I understand there's a gray line there, but at the end of the day, clearly the government is corrupt and clearly people are dying because of it already, so... History is filled with oppressed groups who become oppressors. Absolutely. But I think it's also, again, important to... Because, because like, right now, before I read any of this, the, the, the yellow turbans, to me, were just painted as, like, a group of... of evil assholes, right? <laughs> but actually reading through the, 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 the backgrounds, now, to me, it feels more like a gray area. Right? And and it, it a lot of it really depends on where it goes from here, right? Because clearly, you know, they're, they're, they're murdering civilians and burning down towns. But at the same time, we only, we've only seen that from Zhang Liang so far, right? And Zhang Liang is clearly a bit of an asshole. Like, there, there, there's clearly, for him... Part of it is just that he wants to fight people and kill people. You know, like, this guy clearly isn't a good guy, but... That doesn't mean that the entire rebellion is when it's been painted that way in the story so far. Had the same dynamic in Neo where there wasn't really a bad side, only one that you were fighting. Yeah, that's true. Especially if you knew, like, in Neo 2... The, the antagonist, I don't remember his name, but the guy that sticks with you, the monkey guy, right? Um, like, in the story, he's a bad guy, but in actual history, he was one of the most influential Japanese empires in history. Or emperors in history. So. You know. like it, You're right. There is a gray area with that. It's it's like. What side of it do you lean on? Um, well not necessarily. What side do, do you lean on? But I guess what I'm trying to say is like. There are good things and bad things right? And when you have things that, that are this big. That involve entire countries. They're always going to be, there's always going to be good and bad. So there isn't necessarily a correct, uh, a correct side and a wrong side to it. It's just like, this is what happens. He kept Japan united after Oda Nobunaga died. Yeah, and didn't he, um, what, wasn't he also successful in invading Korea too? Wasn't he also a really successful, um, warlord that expanded japanese territory quite a bit i can't remember for sure it's been a while since i've read up on him but he did a lot like like there's a lot of things that he did to like to individuals that were really fucked up but in terms of the entire country he did so much you know Uh, at the beginning of the uprising, the yellow turbans enjoyed superiority, but this was short-lived as the Imperial Army regained the strength to bring the battle into a stalemate. Uh, Zhang Liang 
took the elixir and some hardy soldiers from his brother Zheng Zhao in order to pillage and cause havoc throughout the land to rob the imperial soldiers of their morale. See, there you go. As fate would have it, he would cross paths with the protagonist upon attacking one village on orders from Zheng Zhao. Um, upon being bested, he consumed Elixir as a last resort, transforming himself into a diabolical beast. He was then struck. He then struck the protagonist with all of his might using his deformed left arm, but was ultimately brought to his knees and devoured by Ying Long, clad in genuine ki. So these are the humans that have been turned into demons. Excessive elixir consumption or contact with powerful demon chi. It was reported that the Yell, a Yell Turban leader, Zhang Zhao, in his desperation to overthrow the Han court, forced elixir on his subordinates in order to build an army of fearsome fanatic warriors. Some say that a demonized human can be returned to human form through contact with overwhelmingly strong, genuine chi. But this truth remains unconfirmed. Sounds like Soul Calibur, right? They have been reduced to creatures of subhuman intellect. Our training infusing them during their lives offices means they are adept at utilizing powerful weapons. Okay. So, Zhu Yan is a huge ape-like demon. It is described in the western mountain section of the classic mountains and seas as being white-necked, red-legged, and living on Mount Shao Shishan. I feel like this is being translated to English in a weird way because I'm not used to seeing a lot of these letters in Chinese. Um where white gemstones and copper can be found. Its appearance is said to herald the coming of a ruinous war, and so is feared as an ominous creature. A talus of the yellow turbans had tamed it through the use of elixir and used it to kill Gong Soon Zan scouts on the mountain, as well as Zhao Yun's subordinate. Oh, so that's where the backstory comes from. So that's why when his backstory came in, he was talking about how his subordinate went in and then died after this fight because that came from the, uh, from Zhu Yan. Okay. I'm sorry we were there for so long, but this is this is interesting to me. I'm probably going to keep reading them. <laughs> um, I can level up once. Yeah, let's just do fire again. I think that's fine. <clears throat> Leveling up pretty fast, huh? I'm almost to level 10 already with fire, and it's the second level. I'll probably from now on, when I read those things, I'll do it in between levels. Oh my god, wait, I just saw on Twitch that, that white flashing is happening in the stream. Okay. I'm gonna turn off HDR then. Oh my god, this game does not look nearly as good with HDR off, let me tell you. Jesus. Let me turn this back to, like, the default value. Wow, this game looks so much worse with HDR off. It's such a shame. But I'll turn it off and... 
Um, and we'll see if the white flash- if the white flashing continues, then I'll turn HDR back on for myself, but... Wow, man, it looks so much more gray. It's so much darker, it's insane. It just, it doesn't look as good with HDR off. It's such a shame. Oh wait, it might actually be because, hold on. It might actually be because I have HDR on on my display. So let me try turning it off and see if that changes anything. Nope, it looks the same. How'd you see me? Okay. I'm gonna do it. I, I, I held the wrong button. I wanted to shoot a, uh... No, nah, I didn't want to shoot a fireball. I wanted to do the, um... The whatchamacallit. One of the, uh... One of these attacks. But I held the wrong button. Man, dude, I love HDR. <laughs> I wish I could keep it on. Uh, I've tamed an item that has the ability to enhance the dragon dragon's cure pot. Access your inventory from the character menu to use this item. Dragon vein crystals will increase the maximum number of uses of dragon's cure pot by one. Okay. Um, I'm assuming I just use it then. I, I'm, I'm guessing that there's nothing else to use it for, but I'll hold on to it anyway because I'm not using them in the first place right now. So I don't feel like I really have a need to use it. Chest. The white flashing is still happening with HDR off. Okay. So it's, that's just something weird happening with the game then. I'll have to... I'll have to figure out what's causing that. Because that's bit pretty bad for stream. But I have I have no idea why there's a white flashing happening. Oh shit. You know, I went I went into my Windows display settings. Oh no, I did turn HDR on. I'm gonna have to restart the game to do that then. Cause I turned my my monitor's HDR off and now it just oh there it is, yay! Ah. Okay. Oh, this looks so much better. You have no idea. How how good it looks, man. I swear to God, I can't go back. Oh, shit. <gasps> Sorry. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Bop! Bop! Boop. 
All right, I remember this. I'm not going to die here again. I'm going to switch weapons so I make sure that I don't die. Oh God, these guys are pretty high level. That's fine. See, I told you I'd be fine. Give me my health back. Over, I have Divine Beast. I like the staff a lot. All right, let's see what these are. Yeah. I mean, this legendary one doesn't really give a lot, huh? Like it gives toxin attack power. I mean, this doesn't give anything either though, to be fair. Morale rank gain, positive effects, ammo retrieval, range spirit damage, and damage dealt in desperate condition. I mean, it's not really much better, to be honest, but... It keeps me light, and it just has higher armor value, so I think it's worth equipping. Um, metal phase spell spirit consumption, spear damage, range spirit damage received, and then increased copper. Sure. Alright, well, all of those guys already came to fight me, so I'm good there. I missed. I missed. That was a big hit. You can block my attacks? No way. Come on, Zhao. What do I pay you for? I'm very surprised that broke him. Man, what is this white flashing? I swear, I'm gonna have to look this up because this didn't happen in the demo. All right, buddy. Ah, oh, that has a that has a wide range to it. <clears throat> That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Let's keep your distance. Yeah, go Zhao. I'm the distraction this time. Yeah, go Zhao! We got him. Easy. First try.
Do we have a level up? We do. Uh, let's just go for fire again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Divine Beast again. This is the boss, right? It is. There are two small flags I'm missing. I wonder where they could be. Well, one of them's over there, right? I was expecting him to attack. I do kind of like in this game over Neo how they can't fall off the edge when you're attacking them. <clears throat> yep, there's this one. I still can't get through here though. Well, the last one is in that cave, I think. Oh yeah, that's just right over here, isn't it? <clears throat> Let's go get it, why not? Hello. Should be one more. Is it not in this cave? Oh, it might be over here. It's not here. Huh. I don't know where it could be then. I would have assumed it was here. I don't know where else it could really be. There's the white flash again. And then this is just back to, yeah, the blacksmith. <clears throat> Yeah, there's nothing like back here, right? Yeah, this is just the boss area. Huh. All right, then. I don't know. That's a shame. I'm going to miss one. It's probably way back at the start or something. Because there aren't many places that you can actually go in this area. Right? Yeah, there aren't many places you can go in this area. Whatever, let's just go to the boss then. Because the only uh, place I can think of where it would be is, like, on top of this roof. Which might not even be that far-fetched. <clears throat> I can get there pretty quick. Oh, but there's a small flag right there. No, that would be weird, then, if it was up here. It'd be weird for them to be so close to each other. Yeah, whatever. What are these guys? This is a secret. Okay, let's go to the flag and heal and then we'll go.
Uh, also... Eh, it's too heavy. Too heavy. See, now, now that I've actually, like, read the backstories on all of these characters, this scene means a lot more than it just being like, Oh, there's a boar and he jumped in front to save the woman. Right? Now it's more like, you know, he saw this exact same thing happen with his subordinate before and he doesn't want it to happen again, you know? That kind of thing. Okay, I... Okay, cool. It doesn't even do any damn. Oh, it did, it did key damage. You delayed that last one. Okay. Nice, I didn't get eaten that time. Ah. All right, cool. All right. Do do. Whoa, that's a new one. Nice. Nice. It, it doesn't make him stay in that state for that much longer. I was expecting it to be a little bit more potent. But I guess I got a little bit more damage off, but it wasn't that good. Yeah, he's dead. I, I, you know, using the spells in the boss fight. I like them. It, ad, it adds more to the combat. I like it more than Neo. <clears throat> where in Neo, a lot of the time, it feels like it's just like passive talesmans that just buff you and debuff them. And then you played the same game. But here it actually feels like there's there are reasons to use the different ones, and I, I like that. It's it's interesting. It adds it adds quite a bit to the combat. Kokin <laughs> More or less what fighting a feral pig is like IRL. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I was thinking that same thing with, with when he when he did that one like 
when he was doing those attacks, the, um, <clears throat> like the one where he, I guess, swiped his hand or whatever. I guess it's more of a foot, but you know what I mean. Hoof? I don't know. What do you call it when it's that big? Do you still call it like a, a foot? I don't know. Anyway, um, because the timing was so random, right? Like the timing on all of the attacks was so random. It, there was no real, it didn't feel like there was a reason for it. Ugh. It's amazing, too, that you can have a boss fight like that in a game made by Koei Tecmo, and there's no camera issues. They've come a long way. I really wish I didn't have this turban on my head. Oh, it's gone for you! Oh, it's Jack Black? It's both? I like this guy already. I don't know if this is a good guy or a bad guy. Is that Guan Yu? It is Guan Yu! <laughs>。Yeah, I like this guy. Can make the head more performance issues and cutscenes in the gameplay? Yeah, seriously. Like, it's, it's already running at 30 and then it still, like, stutters. It's cra- I have this game on M.2, by the way. So, <laughs> I don't know how it's having issues. We know God you can't compare to anything. Yeah, that character's never been good, huh? Um, is it in like setting settings that I can turn it off? Game settings? Ah, show head equipment. There we go. Show HP and numerals. So show spirit and numerals. Show sense key map. HUD, maximum effect icons on display, current coppers during missions, lock on target effect, marker, focus, automatically switch locked on target upon defeating target, locking on when no target present resets the camera, disabled, thank god, holy shit. That was something I complained about in Neo 1. Thank God. Automatically lock on to enemy when melee attacking. Okay, I think I want that. Um. Pause. Possible mute. Skip played cutscenes. Okay. That's so much better. Okay, cool. So is there no, like... Is there no hub in this game? 
like there is with Neo. <clears throat> is it just mission in the mission in the mission? Are there no like side missions or anything in this game either? ゆうびと申す。弟らと after this Elden Ring bit, gameplay is gonna bore you to sleep. You're right. That's why I, I tend to avoid from soft games. You can travel from the flags to replay levels. I see. Okay. That's what the travel button is. Ah. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. This is very, very strange how... This is, yeah. I don't like how you stroll through this. I'm so confused. Oh, is it like this thing at the bottom? Like this thing down here? Oh yeah, okay. This is so stupid how, how this works. So so this is this is the top one that I've already done. Then there's this one, which I'm on now. And then this one is, uh, is a side mission. Okay. But they're all going through this list that's like impossible to understand. Okay. I think Neo did this part better. I agree 100%. Um, is there a reason for me to do basic training? Like, will unlock anything if I do it? It actually probably will, but... Well, let's do- let's do this- this submission. Yeah, let's do this submission before doing the main mission. Just to see what they're like in this game. The old turbans that had taken over Mount Dongshen were defeated. However, according to Hong Fu's, according to Hong Fu Song, the general sent by the Imperial Court, the remnants have assembled under a new commander and continue to plague Mount Dongshan. Hong Fu Song has a strategy to remedy the problem. Helping him implement that plan will surely be appreciated. Okay. Can I level up? Oh, I can. I can level up quite a bit. Well, I'm gonna get the fire to 10 first, and then I'll, I'll upgrade the water a little bit, I think. Really, just basing attacking the the basic enemy gets rid of the stagger, huh? Okay. What's over here? It's so dark. Oh, there's an archer up there. Of course, there is. Last arrow. Oh.
There we go. I see him. Uh-oh, whatever am I going to do? Ah! That did not... That was not worth it. Ah, fuck. I got so mixed up on what was happening. Oh, man. Wow, you take forever. You know, I guess you are. I was about to say you have a lot of reach, but you are using a spear. Okay. Archer dude. Okay, great. Um... I wasn't expecting him to do it that fast. How could I stab him with a pole? Excuse me? How does that work? Seth, just don't ask questions. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Looped. What's over here? Parkour? Oh dear. Oh, this is just going the opposite way from the last level. Yeah, I like the combo potential from that. Really? I just got touch of death, basically. I smashed the staff in so hard that the poor man's chest caved in. The chest, the chest can't even cave in though in that way. Like I'm hitting him from behind. There's no caving to be done. I'm going into the cave. I'm just gonna go heal real quick. I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm not even gonna risk losing my shit. But I also don't wanna heal. Still alive, technically gonna die from internal bleeding momentarily though. He had a family. I don't care if he had a family. Do you feel good, Seth? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm feeling quite all right. Honestly, I'm having fun with this game. Besides, you know, that white flashing that keeps happening for some reason, like I'm, I'm, I'm having no issues. This game's great. I love all of the little things that kind of go into the combat. Like, I definitely prefer Neo's more, but at the end of the day, I, I, this game's still really cool.
Nice. Okay. Stupid dog. Okay, good. I think I think that's all of them. All right, what's this? It was enough like here. Okay. He somehow doesn't see me. My stealth stat is too high. Look at his doofus. <clears throat> oh, it's too dark. Okay, that time I caved in his chest. Must have been the wind. Who saw me? Ow. Ah, oh, shit. We're just gonna go back this way. Didn't see anything. Nothing to see here. Oh, is there anything else up here? Oh, is this guy? I spiked him. Oh, here's a flag. I don't see any down there. Let's just get rid of this guy. Okay, so today I learned that those attacks can whiff. <clears throat> Good to know. Wow, my timing was just like the com like completely off. That, that was uh, just completely wrong. One time a king player tried to do that stupid unbarkable backflip on my jungle and I sniped him out of the air with my laser. <laughs> it's so good. I'm going to... I'm going to go this way. I feel like it might be better if I go this way. Someone's chasing me. Yep. Okay. That was close. Ooh, flag. Let's aggro this guy. Because I highly doubt I can jump on top of him or sneak behind him. Nice. Nice. What the hell? All right, cool. That worked out. It was almost bad, but it worked out. 
Seth, please tell me if you think this video was funny. Okay. Oh, right. This keyboard isn't working for some reason. I use my other keyboard. No, that is that is incorrect. It didn't copy because my keyboard isn't working. It's not funny, damn. Oh, this is a two minute video. Didn't watch, by the way. All right, what is this? Gamer presence debate in Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. Basic default field. I didn't know you were that broke. Shut up, Donald. I'm on a new account. Just trying a new deck. Uh, Ashmate, how surprising. What are you playing? Trap tricks? Maybe. Yeah. I don't, like, I don't want to, but, um, I, uh, I, I j just the other uh, day I may have, um, I, I may have, uh, I, I may have got the, and I, I, I may have, uh, I, I, I may have gotten three of them, and I, I may have the, uh, I may, um, I, um, listen, shut up, don't judge me. Pretty cringe, not gonna lie. Whatever, guys. Shut up! Five passes, full combo. Good luck, have fun. Yay, fun. Putting me to sleep here, Sleepy Joe. I draw. Ugh, God damn. Fuck you, you I like trap, tra no, trap decks, okay? Staring at trap tricks cards. God damn. Hey, they're actually thousand years old, okay? Oh, really, yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough, they're then. They're a thousand, I guess. Special Ashna? Wow, brain They kill cool. you! How impressive. Come on, Joe. That's the thing! The, the anti-lolly. The, an the anti-lolly. They, they, they lure you in and then they kill you. Sleepy Joe over here. They feed they feed you the giant spiders and, and Venus fly traps. Past talking about brain dead. Anyway, Golden Lord effect. Wait, why are you running Eldritch? That is ass. Discard my great wall to send uh the middle one. Holy shit. Did he hit a good one? Obama, check this shit out. Oh my no god. No oh man. yeah. See that that's it. Game's over. Looking out this, you orange mutt. Who runs Waking the Dragon? You're such a shitter, Joe. It's over for you, Donald. Whatever, I can. I mean, Waking the Dragon is pretty common in Master Duel in like trap that. decks, actually. Might have a chance here. Yeah, that's not happening, champ. I am so sick of stupid ass, sleepy Joe ass trap decks like this. Man, that's just unfortunate. Shaman target Adara. Stay mad, kid. No clue. Dude, what it, 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 it's do. crazy that that um AI voice programs i guess have gotten to this level where they can do this i remember it, it was it wasn't even five years ago where i think um i think adobe had started creating something maybe it was nvidia i think it was both actually had had made something where that was allowed you to replicate someone's voice and people were freaking out over it because of the of the um <clears throat> just what you could do with it and i'm still kind of freaked out about it and it's come so, like and even like a year ago as well well maybe two years ago it was still really easy to be able to differentiate like an AI voice and a real voice, but now, like, I mean, just l like listen to it. But I'm gonna flip my purple card regardless. It's so oh, difficult to tell now. It's insane. Whatever, Joe. Your deck doesn't even kill. I have like 20 top decks that win me the game here. Normal summon search for Siculo. It's uh, fucking crazy. Who would play such a Freddy Bear red flag looking seven year olds in their waifu decks. Should have spent your UR gem dust on Gola Maruru. She is kind of bad, though. Would have had a mommy and a deck, you stupid idiot. Keep talking trash. Swing and I pass. I have a backup deck. Listen. Listen, I... Listen, I... Oh, that's the wrong one. Listen, I have... Okay, I have Labyrinth. Okay, listen. Listen, I can defend myself here, okay? I, 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 I'm playing both sides! I'm playing both sides, listen. 
Where, where is she? There she is. Listen, I'm playing both sides, okay? I... I'm playing both sides. I'm simultaneously on both teams and neither team. Joe's too coherent to be the real one. Trump honestly isn't that good. I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like the good. Hope people mainly use this power to make silly, stupid videos instead of actual evil. I mean, they will because you you can say like I wasn't I wasn't really in the conversation at the time, but. I'm sure people were saying the same things. People that were my age or older were saying and thinking the same things when video editing got better and easier to do. When CGI got better and harder to differentiate from real life, right? But you don't see that kind of stuff used in, uh, in crimes or anything or for malicious reasons like obviously video editing yes you know but and there's a lot of misinformation of course that you can use with that kind of stuff that's a lot more accessible now than it was in the past but it's not like that widespread it's not a problem this is probably going to be the same thing like, I mean, like, obviously the, like, deep fakes and stuff are being used that way, of course, but in, like, you, you, it's not being used in a really, really serious way that, like, makes, that frames people for murders and stuff and completely ruins their life. At least not yet. But it'll probably be the same thing. Like, there are going to be some cases where it's used for that, but it's gonna be few and far between. Damn, passing on nothing. Otherwise, because if it wasn't the case, then with how like with how good this is, I'm it would have already been used. <clears throat> I think it's more of like the problem is going to be the fact that you can make it this accurate in the first place. Is like, the question is, is video and audio evidence even going to be, like, admissible in court? Obviously, it, like, like, has to be. But at the same time, if it becomes so easy to manipulate someone's face and voice to frame other people, then, like... I, I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how that works out a thousand years old huh. who would play such a freddy bear red flag looking seven-year-olds in their waifu decks should have spent your ur gem dust on gola maruru she is kind of bad though. would have had a mommy and a deck you stupid idiot keep talking trash swing and i pass loki bars i draw god damn it yo donald you should probably scoop it up who's set in passing now you're a real tough guy with your seven-year-old i just know that the, the name is biden and donald and donald has the the diamond that's pretty What's good up, get the fuck fuck out, out, fuck off. who what a weirdo. Yeah, seriously. For real. Hey, uh, your Wi-Fi is looking a little sleepy, Joe. Wait, what the? But my son said he fixed my Wi-Fi. I think Donald just found his win con. Yes, I'm oh, the best duelist up. of all time. You lost that 100%. I don't know, Joe. A win is a, a win. win. is a win. We've we've all been there if we've played Master Duel. Um. You were that. Funny. I don't know, man. I didn't find that funny. I just think it's like it. I I. It's hard for my mind to comprehend how fast technology is evolving. I'm not really in the know when it comes to um, like how, how AI has been advancing in the last couple years. So when I see stuff like that, I, I basically haven't seen any of the progress. The last time I've ever looked or heard that kind of stuff, it was still really bad. It was still really robotic -y and didn't really like there were there were times where it sounded correct, but a lot of the time it didn't. So when I see that kind of stuff, it's just like it's weird. It's incredible, but it's also it's 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 weird. I'm more in awe than anything, honestly. There's something in here. <clears throat> uh, 
If I unfocus my eyes, that menu looks like Neo 2's. If I just squint really hard and sometimes close my eyes. I got a big hammer. I got quite a few things, actually. These are both just worse. I'm gonna try using the hammer a little bit. There's gotta be a flag in here, right? Hello! Oh my god, I just one-shot it. This dog doesn't see anything. I could probably jump back up here. Let's just get rid of it. Ben Shapiro, political commentator, never heard of him. I'm not into politics, I'm sorry. Like, politics are just like... Politics nowadays, like, any sort of debate is just two people, like, yelling at each other for no reason and not actually discussing things. So I don't really, I don't really care. Politics is so shitty. Ooh, a new bow. Too heavy, too heavy. Well, this one's better. Ah, but it reduces my fire. What's it out now? 18? For one defense? And two extra spirit defense? I mean, this is increasing my earth quite a bit too, and I don't need it, so increasing the water by 36, I think, is good. He was the star of many liberal SJWs owned by Facts and Logic videos on YouTube. See, I hate that shit. I, I, I hate that stuff so much. And it goes for both sides, too. It, it, it's it's also the, the dumb shit where people are like, you know, all Republicans are like unhinged and don't know what they're talking about. And they just want to, they would rather see a bunch of people like, like, die than give up their guns and all this odd dumb shit. And then you have like the, um, like the, oh, all of these, all of these stupid liberals just want, just want, uh, men to play in women's sports and all this other stupid shit. And it's just like, why are we sitting here, like, insulting people that don't exist and yelling at people and getting mad at people that don't really exist instead of the two extremes and just labeling everyone on one side or the other as the extreme and getting nothing done and not actually solving any of the issues in this country instead of like having a discussion what like why why does why do you always have to be correct and like everything that you say and why can the never be why can you never like meet in the middle and why does it always have to be a fucking argument like i just don't understand man it's so fucking stupid it's so dumb and it's so hypocritical i just i can't stand it i cannot stand it Like, like, on both sides, pe people are like, oh, our country's gone to shit because of the other side. And it's like, no, it's gone to shit because you don't want to actually, like, fix anything that's going on. You just want to be a toxic shithead and yell. <laughs> it. I nuts like I'm ranting. I'm I'm stopping. I'm stop I, I stopped as you were typing that message. I'm not going I'm not I'm not gonna say anymore because I could go on and on and on. Um where can I see how much this stuff weighs? Oh I can see it. I see. It's like it's it's on it's on the lower left of the actual thing that tells me how heavy it's supposed to be, I guess. <clears throat> so 
the one I have equipped is 30.9, and then this is like 2.4. But it increases Earth, and I really don't want Earth. Okay, there's a lot of status effect stuff to look at, and uh, it's too much for me. It's too much for me to keep track of. I hope there's a... I keep saying I hope like there's a hub world that's not in this game. <clears throat> Ooh, a helmet. Oh, this is just better. I forgot I had the hammer equipped. Oh. All right, cool. We got one more flag to find. Oh, hello there. Ah, I see. Okay, let me go get the uh, flag that's out here then. Before I finish the mission. Because I saw the big flag that was out here. So no one here? Guess not. I have so many points. Let me spend some of them. Oop. And we'll do that. Alright, I got a fire one. This seems to be at 20, so it's probably not worth getting. But at the same time, I'm not going to use this. So, I'll just hold off. Uh, I'm not going to use any of those. I haven't been leveling this up. And I have two for this. Oh, yeah, I was going to get the haste, right? Yeah, that's nice. And then... The only one here I can use is the spear trap, but I don't think I'm really going to use that. Um, over, right, I have to go here to change the spells. So let's change this one. Because I don't think the deflection change is actually that relevant because it's only really on whiff that it actually does anything. <clears throat> so. I'll just keep it like that. Is the last one in here? Motherfucker just doing aerial flips instead of running. Oh yeah, I did just equip that, didn't I? Oh, that is so much faster. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. I think that was all a combo. Jesus. I, I cannot get the timing. Oh my god, it's walking on. What the hell? Dude, I can't get the timing. Dude, that, I can't, I can't get the timing for that. That's insane. Oh my God. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> that was, that was so tough. It, it just, it just felt like, oh, it felt, it felt random. I could not get a, a gauge on any patterns there. That was crazy. All right, let's do here, right? No. Oh, yeah, it was through here. Okay. I will win this time. I have to. Ah, I 
forgot about the last hit. Really, that hit me? There you go. Okay. When he did when he did the five attacks, my timing was just just completely wrong. But I got it. I got it. Second try. No big deal. Look at the speed. Okay, so I gotta go in the cave. Power walking. <laughs> Do you not sprint for a reason? There's a sprint button? What's the sprint button? Oh, wait. I, I don't have... Hold on. I need to go to the flag. <laughs> hold on. L3. What the hell? Okay, yeah. There was a reason I don't use the sprint button. It's that I didn't know it existed. <laughs> up here right yeah uh i want to like throw a bomb as weird as that sounds all right just you and i what the hell my game froze Oh my god, my game's freezing. Well, I put him in the corner. This is incredibly fortunate. Oh, he escaped the corner. He put himself in another corner. Okay, I was... Game froze a couple times, but... Where did you come from? I love the way he died. Um, return to your current main battlefield. This is what fighting wrong at the wall is like. All right, cool. All right, well. Ugh. Let's uh let's level up real quick. And 
Defense. Yeah, let's level up fire again. Just writing about politics being dumb for it was it wasn't five minutes, it was like two minutes, okay? Alright. I think I'm going to uh I think I'm gonna end here for today. Um I gotta fix this white flashing light that keeps happening. But we've gotten to pass where we got the demo. We actually made a character and we did a side quest, and I actually like followed the lore. Um, so I will be back tomorrow at four and I'll probably be playing for a bit longer tomorrow as well. Um, but I'll be playing Wulong again. Uh, I won't be streaming Tuesday and Wednesday this week. <clears throat> um, but I'll be streaming the rest of the week. So I'll be starting at four. Uh, I, I much preferred, um, starting stream at four this week uh experimenting with it it gives me more time to to actually eat so i don't have to do it on stream and even today i was originally scheduled to to start at three but i ended up doing it at four just because i wanted the extra time to eat and fix issues i was having with this game when i booted it up um so i think four is just going to be the normal stream time now for eastern so it's an hour later than it was before but it's just it, it works better for me, so I'm I'm going to to stick with that. Um, besides, on the weekends, the weekends I'm still probably going to stick with three. Um, but we'll see. I might I might just do four as well. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna experiment with the weekend, but weekdays I'm I'm gonna stick with four p.m. So, yeah. Um. I might just be playing this game all week as well. Like, I'm enjoying this game a lot more than I thought I was going to based on the demo. Um, just trying new things out and, and and having access to the spells and figuring out, like, the, the, the combos and stuff that you can do in this game is pretty fun. So, we'll see, though. Uh, I'll, put up the, I'll put up the schedule on, on Twitter and Twitch. Um, before I go to sleep today. So, like, by 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I'll, uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.